Get ready for a roller coaster of emotions in the world of Detroit Lions football. After a nail-biting comeback against the Bears, the Lions faced a Thanksgiving nightmare against the Packers. The recent twists and turns on the field have left fans on edge. What happened on Thanksgiving could either ignite a spark or cast a shadow over the Lions' playoff aspirations. Hit that like button to brace yourself for the shocking details we're about to unravel. Now let's dive into the aftermath of the Lions' Thanksgiving showdown, a game that served as a reality check after their dramatic comeback against the Bears. The ups and downs are leaving fans on the edge of their seats. What went wrong, and can the Lions recover? Let's find out. The Detroit Lions are facing a reality check after a couple of rough weeks on the football field. Despite a dramatic comeback against the Bears, where they conquered four turnovers for a last-minute victory, Thanksgiving against the Packers told a different story. Turnovers haunted the Lions again, with two in the first half putting them at a 17-point deficit by halftime. The team struggled to regain offensive momentum, primarily due to Jared Goff's inconsistent play. Goff, for the second consecutive week, played recklessly, contributing to three fumbles in this game alone. The final blow came with a strip sack by the Packers' Rashawn Gary, sealing the win for Green Bay. In the past two games, Goff has committed a total of six turnovers, and the Lions, as a team, have coughed up the football seven times. This sloppy performance proved costly against Jordan Love and the Packers, highlighting the need for immediate improvement. The defensive side also faltered, displaying subpar play against Green Bay. Little pressure was applied to Love, who comfortably completed 22 of 32 passes for 268 yards and three touchdowns. The defense, lacking in sacks and struggling against opposing receivers, allowed over 330 yards for the third consecutive week. The struggles are indicative of a lack of defensive playmakers beyond Aiden Hutchinson and Ali McNeil. The pass rush has been subpar throughout the season, and the secondary, despite improvements, still experiences lapses, lacking a shutdown corner. Despite these challenges, head coach Dan Campbell remains steadfast, emphasizing the need for improvement without succumbing to panic. General Manager Brad Holmes has built a competitive team that is poised to make the playoffs, marking significant progress for a franchise that has struggled in recent years. Yet, the undeniable truth remains. The Lions must quickly address issues on both sides of the ball. Their recent sloppy play, if not rectified, could jeopardize their ability to consistently win games. The road ahead requires a swift and comprehensive cleanup to maintain their competitive edge. But before we dissect the aftermath of the Thanksgiving clash, let's rewind to a pivotal moment that might have changed the course of the game. A daring decision by coach Dan Campbell that, in the end, had unexpected consequences. What led to this unexpected defeat, and can the Lions learn from this bold move? The Detroit Lions faced an unexpected defeat against the Green Bay Packers on Thanksgiving, and a crucial decision during the game might have played a significant role. In the third quarter, with the Lions trailing 23-14, they attempted a fake punt from their own 22-yard line. Unfortunately, the Packers were ready for it, successfully thwarting the move and leading to another touchdown for Green Bay. In the aftermath, coach Dan Campbell took complete responsibility for the bold decision, acknowledging that he shouldn't have done that. While bold moves can be game changers when successful, this particular fake punt didn't go as planned. In hindsight, it seems the Lions could have benefited from having the option to change the play if the Packers were well prepared for the fake. Coach Campbell is known for his daring decisions in critical moments, with some instances resulting in game-changing success. However, on Thursday, things didn't go their way. As we wrap up this roller coaster of Lions news, I want to hear your take on these unexpected turns. Drop a like if you're still hopeful about the Lions' playoff chances and want more inside scoops. Don't forget to subscribe for future updates. Until next time, this is your host, signing off. Go Lions!